chance to come down here to planet Earth. Even then, I don't know if, if in heaven right now, those angels that been there for the whole time in eternity, God created them, whatever. I don't know if all the angels or everybody in heaven had a chance to come down to Earth and experience the Earth experience. I don't know. I don't know that. But I know this. We did. Isn't that amazing? So talk about opportunity to come down here on Earth. Man, God had a plan and he chose you to be a part of it. So guys, don't let anything talk you out of what's already done. Now, I'm going to ask Mr. Bishop if you don't mind to come in and talk about that already done, that alignment. Like I said, only to mess it up with us. We really can't mess it up, but we can let the devil cause us to miss out on some of the stuff we're supposed to have because it's already done, but we just get talked out of staying lined up with that. So, Mr. Bishop, can you, can you deal with that, man? Well, well absolutely, uh, Dr. Brown. When you talk about it's already done, but you're talking about you're talking about something from scripture. You're talking about a spiritual principle that says that before you utter a desire out of your mouth, God already creates whatever it is that you want. All it takes for you to do is align yourself with it, and, and, and see that that goes back to scripture when you talk about faith. We we live in a spiritual universe. And we are spiritual beings, and the universe responds to our our thinking. See, a lot of us we spend all our life trying to worry about how, and that's why we don't progress because we look with our eyes. But when you have faith, when you understand that it's a method system, you close your eyes and you can see any desire that you that you have. And, and, and so, when we say it's already done, imagine. And it's a new home that you want. And, 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 and God is 100% when it comes to his word. So he says it's already done. So all you really need to do, I mean, those are some necessary actions you're going to have to take. The most important part is not the action, it's the alignment. So how do you align yourself with a new home when you might be homeless? Then all God said is, listen, think about not the home, but how would you feel if you already had that home, oh, I would feel, I would feel at like ease. I would feel powerful. I would feel blessed. I would feel touched. And if you, if you meditate on those thoughts, that means you're sending out those frequencies and those vibrations. The universe has no choice but to manifest in your life events and things that align with the thoughts that you're offering. And so, some folks, I can hear them now saying, "Oh." I don't believe that. Well, what about this telephone we use every day? You're talking to me here in Cleveland. You guys in Atlanta. I have no strings on my phone. How we communicate? Because somebody dialed 10 specific numbers. Like, they focus on them numbers. Them frequencies from that phone hit the frequencies on my phone, and they got Marvin Bishop here in Cleveland. It has to be a thousand Marvin Bishops throughout the world in this country, over 400 documented people. Yet, because we do this. You got the one you wanted, but had you changed one number, you would have changed the frequency just that much. You might have got somebody else, but it would not have been me here in Cleveland. So the reality is this: a lot of us we don't even know we don't even know ourselves. We don't know the system that we live in, and that's why one of the things we we as, as you talk about, Dr. Bob, we're working on some folks. But one of the things that that, that folks need to learn is this game called life. And the fact that we do live in a spiritual universe, and our thoughts do have power, and if you believe it or not, it has nothing to do with what this universe is going to do, because not only do we send out vibrations and frequencies, but we also receive them, and that's the blessing, because a big shot, Dr. Brown, ain't nothing but a little shot that just kept shooting, and all I'm saying, everyone on this call, there's no accident that we're on this call today, because somehow, we attracted to each other through the, spirit, the spiritual uh, uh, vibrations and frequencies that we put out this evening. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's, it's in alignment, Pastor Tony. We attracted each other, man, and God just does that. It's not an accident, man. This is powerful. So what we, we have committed to, man, is not to waste our time, spending time, wasting time, but really put information out that's relevant, that's right now, that will impact you if you apply the information to you. And man, just so much. But I thank God for you, Pastor T, for, again, being led by the Spirit of God. Can you talk about 
everybody on planet Earth, man, you have a brain. And in, in, in the Bible, that's what it comes, as a man thinketh, so is he. Your brain transmits and receives frequency, whether you agree or not, is there. You can go check it out for yourself. But <laughs> for those of you that know the spirit of God, right, uh, gravity works for everybody. I don't care if you're black, white, short, fat, skinny, gravity works, right? It works for everybody. God designed air, breathing, uh, heat. It works for everybody. Intelligent folks, unintelligent folks, if you touch something hot, you get burned. Where, where it works. Well, the same thing uh, with these universal principles, they work for everybody. Gravity works for everybody, but when you learn how to defy the law of gravity with something called a law of lift, that's how an airplane flies and a bird flies. Yeah, 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 it defies. Yeah. It's, a, it's a senior law to the law of gravity. But then from the law of lift, right, you got another law that's even senior to that. It's called a law of attraction. See that? A law of attraction says whatever you put out comes back. But there's a law even higher than that, and that's the law of the Spirit of God. Isn't that amazing? So and you, there's no limit to that, though. So yeah, And yeah. that's just specifically for those that belong to God. So, but go ahead. I'm sorry, man. We're just excited tonight. You got us fired up, man. <laughs> no, I, 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 really, I, really, I really I appreciate it. Um, uh, how do you balance ministry and your, your, your businesses? I love that. I love that. I preached a message once called a proper balance lead to a level life. A proper balance lead to a level life. And I joked about, I told the brothers in the church, I said, the proper balance is this. Sometimes you got to put the Bible down and pick the woman up, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you got to balance that thing out. And nevertheless, man, uh, that's just practical wisdom. If God gave you a wife, you'd love her like you love the church, and you should, you, should, you should be able to balance that part out, right? And so here's the deal. The reason, the way I do that is, got to hear this part, is because like Marvin said, I don't look outside for anything. I look inside for everything. Because when God, when he said, you are my handiwork and you are my workmanship, that means before he put me in the wound, he put everything he desired for me inside of me. So if ministry is inside of me, I don't chase ministry with business. What I do is I do business because of ministry. You catch that later. I don't work to get faith. I work because I have faith. I work like it depends on me, but I trust like it depends on God because it does. See that? So the way I balance this, when I was a soldier, I was a top soldier. Got the, look at my walls. You know, typically on the wall, top soldier. And they thought I was, a, I was a top soldier because I wanted to be a top soldier. But no, I was a top soldier because I was a minister of God, wanted to be a witness. When I became a boxer, I was an undefeated boxer, not because I wanted to be an undefeated boxer, but because I wanted to be a witness for the Lord. See that? When I became an entrepreneur, I said, anything I put my hands to, I'm going to the top of it. Not because I wanted to go to the top, but because I wanted to be a witness. So you see my balance now? I'm not doing business. I'm not doing life. I'm doing God. See that? So that's how I balance it out, man. Find out what God has for you, and I mean this, man, and then do everything in your power to maximize that. If it's business, be the best business person in the world. If it's marriage, be the best there. If it's being an entrepreneur, do that. If it's being a, a teacher, a father, whatever, do that because of ministry, not because of the thing. And, and, and since I know you and I followed you for a while, I'm just going to ask you this question, but I'd like for our listeners and our viewers to hear the answer. How important is integrity to you, integrity to you in what you do? Well, Integrity is everything, right? And uh, you talk about that. Uh, the word called, is called character. Character. character yeah, char that word character means the sum total of the person. The sum total of the person. See that? And so uh, there are some character traits, some character principles that I live by. And uh, they call that keep the main thing the main thing. That's in a book called Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Yeah. Keep the seven habits of highly effective people, right? Keep the main thing the main thing. And what that means is if you're living a principle based life, right? And you got character, you'll attract people with character. See that? It's, it's, it's whatever you put out, come back. And Marvin, I'm going to let you come in and ask that with me. So, how important is integrity to me, right? Integrity is my foundation because it's built from my character. See that? And so, uh, I, uh, I'm not trying to go chase anything, but I have become the person I need to be to attract everything. Wow, wow. you can get that later. Yeah, so you talk about integrity, right? My integrity attracts 
integrity. Mr. Bishop, any comment on that? Uh, absolutely. I was thinking about uh, Pastor's initial question. How do you 